Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I want to talk all about the new Power BI tab in Microsoft Teams. All right, so before we head over to my laptop, there's two things you need to do before you start using this tab, right? You need to first make sure that your users are properly licensed. They need to either have a pro license or your reports need to be your reports need to be in a workspace that's backed by premium capacity. That's number one, all right? Number two, you need to give them access. You can give them access via an app. You can explicitly give them access to the workspace. Completely up to you. How you share the report, you know, how you give them access is gonna determine what you use to uh, show it in Microsoft Teams, all right? Okay, so enough of all this talking. You guys know what I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so once the report's created and it's published out, all you need to do is go to Microsoft Teams, go into the team, into the channel where you wanna uh, pin the report, where you wanna use the new tab, click on the plus, and then you'll see, you know, tabs for that team, or if you don't see it, just type in Power BI, right? And it'll show up and go ahead and click it. And what'll happen is, it's gonna go out and search for all the workspaces you have access to. You can navigate those workspaces and find your report. If you've explicitly given someone access via the workspace, you should use this approach. Me, I like to do everything via apps, right? So it's easier for me to manage and I'm not giving people access to my workspaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've given all of my people, you know, all my report consumers access to these reports via apps. So I'm gonna go there. I locate the workspace, I mean the app, not the workspace, the app. And then I expand it out and I find the report. You click that report and then uh, it's gonna say, hey, we're about to post this, you know, post to the channel about this tab. That's what I wanna do. Again, make sure they have access and then click save. When I click save, what it's gonna do is in just a few short seconds, you'll see the new, the name of the tab will take on the name of the report. You can rename it if you want to, right? You can go here and rename it if you want to. I, just, I want it to say the same, and then you'll see the report. From a report consumer perspective, they'll see something very similar. So what I did to show you, I signed in as one of those users, right? That has access to this particular channel and access to those reports. And you'll see, they say, hey, Patrick just added a new tab at the top of the channel. If I go to the top of the channel, you'll see right there and it says new. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. It's gonna open up something on the right. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. And you'll see, right, there's the report. And so as an end user, I'll start looking at this report. I'm, I'm logged in as row level right now. And hmm, maybe I have a question. Maybe I wanna talk. Why? Why can I only see one report? I mean, one airline. Why can I only see one airline? If you click this little icon right here, the it'll open up the tab conversation, right? And what I can do is say, hey, Patrick, why? Oh, look, wait a minute. Hey, Patrick, why do I only see one airline, right? We're fostering, right? We're contributing to a data culture, so let's have a conversation about this. And look, there's a little notification, right? So if I go over here on my Teams where I'm signed in as me, and say, oh, hey, Patrick, why do I only see one airline? Guess what? Row level security works. So when you pin this report in the tab, when you use the Power BI tab in Teams, if you have any type of security configured on your model, it inherently transfers over to Teams. I can say, because that is the only right airline you have access to. And I spell, I know I spell have wrong, right? I know it is telling me, we'll go fix that. And then I send the message, right? Send the message, and if I go back over to the browser, you can see we're completely having a conversation in Teams about this report. What? This is bananas. Not quite done, though. Not quite done. You can do a couple of other things, right? If I'm the report consumer and I want to export this to PDF or use all the functionality that's built in the Power BI service, I can click here and it'll open it up in a web browser. I can also copy the link. And if I want to, you know, paste this into other, share the link with other people, as long as I have the reshare ability for that. That, uh, report I can share the link and do lots of other things using all the capabilities built in the teams what do you guys think have you used this feature you have any questions comments you know what to do let's continue the conversation where in the comments below it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video give me a big thumbs up as always from Adam and myself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video